Hello and welcome to the RSM YouTube channel. My name is Malena and I'm currently in my first year of the IBA program. If you are someone who's thinking of applying for the following academic year, this video is perfect for you. I asked second and third year students to answer the most frequently asked questions about IBA. I remember when I was applying last winter, I had these exact same questions, so I really hope this video is helpful for you. In IBA, we have a lot of time for self-study, which is really important. We have also lectures, which are with everyone from the course, and workshops, which are a little bit more practical since they are in small groups and you have more chance to interact with your colleagues and uh, do exercises together. Right now, some courses are fully online, some are in a hybrid form, and some are completely in person. So it really depends. Since the year is divided into four blocks, uh, so courses change in each of those blocks. So therefore the schedule and whether it's online or not really changes accordingly. Besides that, um, there's two very important courses in the first year, strategic business plan, where you work with a company throughout the whole year, so it's very practical. It is also a team assignment. And besides that, we have PD and mentoring, which is professional development. And uh, basically you're assigned to a mentor in your first year, which really helps you and gives you tips about the first year and you can ask any questions you want. So that's very helpful and personally, I loved it. So it is a big program, yeah, IBA. I think there's like there were like 500 people in it last year. So you're definitely going to be with uh, a lot of other people. But they are trying really hard to make sure that you're not just a number. To my experience, uh, in the beginning, well, I, f I felt rather small, of course. Uh, but you start with off uh, with a lot of group work. Uh, for example, um, in the first week, you meet your PD mentor group, which is a group of around 20 students. Uh, and you have some um, classes with them, for example, about teamwork. So you get to know them really well and it makes the university a lot smaller. In addition to that, you also have a work group, so to say. So for marketing management, which is a, a course in the first block, you also work together in a team to make the campus a bit smaller. Um, also, the university offers some uh, support, for example, the student advisors who can help you if you're in a big conundrum or have a lot of trouble. Um, so, yeah, you are with a lot of people, but they are trying to make it approachable for everybody and not just a number. So first of all, the most important thing is that you should be able to manage your time. Uh, it's really important to have good time management skills and uh, basically be able to balance your social life and academic life. And please don't under or over invest in either of them. Uh, another important thing, not, ju uh, to, not to just focus on your final examination and final assessment, but also on your midterms, on your bonus assignment uh, and on your group assignment because they can constitute up to 50% of your grade and they are very important. Another thing uh, is please start preparing for the exam early because the workload is really huge and uh, sometimes people just uh, doing nothing during the wall block and they start preparing just one week before the exam which is impossible because you can't squeeze like one wall block it's approximately two months in one week it's impossible uh, another important thing is please don't miss the lectures because it's slippery slope. If you miss one lecture, you miss another. If you miss another, you miss the workshop and it will go like that and it will never stop. It never uh, ending loop. Also, what I strongly recommend is please uh, go to the lectures. I mean, not just watch the recordings. Uh, if uh, the lecture is live, go to the lecture because there you will have an opportunity to interact with the professor, uh, with your peers and ask questions if you don't understand anything. Uh, as I mentioned questions, it's it's really important uh, not to be afraid to ask questions. Uh, it's not shameful not to know something. We're all here to study. This is the purpose of our being here. And this is uh, part of this process, not knowing something, not understanding something and asking questions, both from your peers and to your professor. There is no right or wrong question. Also, uh, please track your uh, performance. And in case you see that you're not meeting a certain criteria, we encourage you to book an appointment with our dedicated team of study student advisors which will help you in any matter and you will have a discussion with them about uh, every uh, circumstance of academic performance that you have. So 
So there's very many different types of associations and clubs you can join. You can join the bigger ones like STAR, ESN or student representatives that all have these like different committees like marketing, organizing social events or even improving education. If you like competition for example, you can join RSM STAR Case Club or you can even go to BNR Burs. If you're a Dutch student, you can also join associations like Rauwentjes or Skadi that are a bit more about meeting people and about the parties. You also have uh, sport associations. You can join a dancing club, a basketball club, hockey club. There's always something that will fit you. So if you're interested, you can check the links in the bio to know more. IP is a very intense program, so it means that uh, it would translate into a daily workload which is quite a bit. In my experience, my day would typically begin with uh, having uh, lectures and you can expect up to a maximum of uh, four hours of uh, like contact hours on campus, so attending lectures or workshops, anything which is scheduled already. But apart from that, the rest of the time is up to you. You can use it uh, the way you want. It's very flexible. Uh, but usually what happens is that for every course you do have uh, a group project that you have to complete. Uh, and this is true for most of the courses. There are some exceptions but yeah there are a lot of group assignments and some of the time that you have left after your contact hours you have to devote it to uh, doing uh, like working with your team members and finishing your group assignments. And then the time that you have to left you have left you have to complete your own individual assignments. So there is self-study as well, uh, no, for sure, and you have to complete your readings during that time or uh, complete uh, other individual assignments. Um, but after that, when you have time left, you can pursue your own interests and hobbies. So for me personally, I work as a student ambassador for RSM. And um, within this, when I have time, usually in the evenings, I would do activities for it like uh, answering questions on Unibuddy or conducting webinars for prospective students or doing campus tours. Uh, and I'm also a teaching assistant for finance. So during that time, I might also meet with other uh, students who are teaching assistants and collaborate with them, uh, develop course content. And when I have nothing else to do, I would just uh, pursue my interests and hobbies. So I really like watching movies and I would do that. But uh, it's not the same for everyone, obviously. Uh, my friends, uh, generally, when they have time left, they work for associations. So they're either in the board or they're an active member and they organize social events, for instance. But others also simply just focus on their personal development. So uh, they go gymming or uh, they like traveling to different cities or just meeting up with friends. So this is typically how it looks like. So yeah, I definitely feel like you get some hands-on experience with real companies. Early on in the, uh, the Bachelor we have the uh, Strategic Business Plan, which is um, basically a course where you have to find an own, your own company and to cooperate with them. And then you analyze their business basically and their whole strategy, uh, which I thought was really cool. Uh, later on in the Bachelor you have the opportunity to do an internship, so you get some actual hands-on working experience. Uh, so I would definitely say you have the opportunity to work with real companies, yeah. Most of the exams are done on campus, on a computer or on paper. If they are done on a computer, we're introduced to the programs beforehand, so no need to stress about that. But the course almost never is only the exam grade. So it is almost always combined with either a group project or an essay or some quizzes that we did throughout the course. For the group assignments, uh, firstly we are placed into random groups in the beginning of IBA since we don't know a lot of people, but halfway through the first year we can already start choosing our groups with your friends or whoever you want to work with, which is also better because you already know them and know what to expect from them. It's very easy to meet new people, especially at IBA. You can join introduction events like Eureka Week, where you get to met, meet your fellow IBAers. Uh, even in IBA itself, like in courses, you have a lot of group work where you can meet new people and make new friends. But also you can join associations, you can go to parties. There's always so many opportunities to get to know more people and make new friends, of course. A definite yes. Uh, in fact, I think that the only gloomy and unwelcoming thing here is the weather. 
But besides that, the city itself and the people are really open and friendly and welcoming. From my point of view, Rotterdam is one of the most diverse cities because there is different people from different backgrounds, different uh, nationalities, representative of different religions, and they are not discriminated for being different. They are really uh, welcome and uh, encouraged to express themselves. The same can be true about the university. You are really welcome here. You are encouraged to speak up because the change can start from you. Also, there is some kind of prejudice that uh, Rotterdam is far more boring than Amsterdam or something like that. It's totally not true because there is a lot. There are a lot of things to do in Rotterdam, especially if you have friends. There is a lot of there are a lot of clubs, a lot of restaurants, cafes, and bars you can go to. Uh, there is a lot of other activities like ice skating or uh, games like laser game, which is really interesting. Uh, you will have friends. I promise you, it's impossible not to make friends here uh, because everyone is uh, really open and friendly, both the internationals at the university and the Dutch people. I can certainly say that uh, Rotterdam is a really welcoming city. I never felt homesick here and from the very first year when I came here I said yes, this is the city I will live my whole life in. <coughs> Those were the top most asked questions about IVA. If your question has not been answered, you can check out the other social media accounts of RSM or you can write your question in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it. And remember, it's never too early to start following your future school on all their socials. <laughs>